a frequent guest on the show during the hockey season, uh, coach of the Danbury Whalers, I, 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 still the coach, former coach, uh, Phil Esposito joins this show. Hey, hey Phil. Phil. Hi, guys. How are you? All right, man. What, what, what uh, What's going on with you? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm in limbo. I'm like, uh, I'm like uh, lose living arrangements half the time. <laughs> <laughs> Good analogy, Phil. I don't know what's going on right now with regards to um, a, a, a team or was that team, the Danbury Whalers team or whatever in, in Danbury. I don't know. I mean, I know there's a fight with regards to a, a lease problem or something. Right. I, I don't really know what the status is. I haven't been informed. Um, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. I've actively been looking for another coaching job in a different league. Um, I've gone on a couple of uh, multiple interviews in the East Coast League and in the Southern Pro League trying to get a job somewhere in a in a league maybe that doesn't have the, the turmoil that this one has. You know, I will go and coach and do what I do wherever I can. And if that winds up being in Danbury with a new team, then then that's fine. If if uh, if it winds up being in a different league, that's fine. I mean, I will honestly, you know, be at the point now where I would say that I'm, I'm pretty much not going. I, I know for a fact I'm not going to Brewster because I have no interest in that at all. You, you mentioned if it's in Danbury, fine. And we talked to Bruce Bennett earlier, and he said uh, he, he had nothing but good things to say about you. And we asked him directly uh, if he was in talks with you, and he said yes. Is that true? Yes, we've talked about a uh, couple of things in the last couple of days since all this, this stuff has come out. You know, so like I said, I'm, I'm still actively looking. And, and uh, whatever transpires, I will make that decision what's right for me at that time. Why was the team booted out of, out of the arena? I just think it had to do with had to do with multiple multiple scenarios, multiple problems over the course of five years, um, all of which have been documented in the newspaper and stuff like that. Things not going business-like, I should say. All right, it was money issues. P- people weren't getting paid. Yeah, true, true or false? I wouldn't say that the, the answer to that question is just that they were not getting paid. I just think it was a, it was one of those things where it was a it was a fight all the time. Nothing was ever the way it was supposed to be. And I just think that uh, professional hockey, there's a word in there called professional that needs to be there. You know what I'm saying? So who, whose fault was it, the organization or the arena? I'm going to put the onus on the organization. Okay. Just, there's a lot of outstanding bills left at Danbury right now. I know that. That 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 I get multiple phone calls on every day about. Uh, about whether or not people are going to get paid from Danbury, and my point of view was is to uh, was to, to turn Danbury into a professional hockey atmosphere the way it should be, the way the fans of Danbury are are supposed to have there because they're the greatest fans. They don't deserve this again because this is like the third time this has happened since yeah. the, since the Trashers. You know, I tried, I did my part. I think for the most part with regards to the team and and bringing a championship to Danbury. But, I, I mean, other than that, I, I had no control over this other stuff. Former uh, Danbury Whalers coach Phil Esposito. Uh, we'll check back with you uh, once uh, we uh, get some new developments to uh, get your take on it. Thank you, Phil. I love you, man. All right, All right guys. We'll All talk right. to you.